Oh my god, why are you going? What's up everyone? Welcome back to 2GLZ Garage. If you guys are new to the channel, this is my 1994 Toyota pickup which is boosted with a massive Turbonetics Turbo. And I recently posted on my Instagram, at 2GLZ, that I'm going to be changing something up in the front end and it's going to have a new look. And today we're going to be doing just that. I went ahead and ordered myself a brand new set of headlights. You can see I got both of them and I also got LED bulbs. Here's one of my old ones because if you guys do not remember, I took off one of the old ones so that I can test it and get more airflow to the turbo. For those of you who are wondering, because I'm sure many of you are wondering if that helped anything, that did help a lot, but I'm gonna be putting the new headlight back on because I have to get the truck ready. Well, it's not that I have to do this, but I wanna do this so that way the truck looks nice and pretty for the Ace Cafe meet, which is going to be tonight. The other thing that I got was an AN fitting because if you guys did not notice, on my oil cooler, the AN fitting is a 90 and it's kinking my hose and I don't want that. So I got a 150 degree. So we're gonna hopefully see if this helps my hose and doesn't kink it so I don't get no oil restriction. One thing that I did do with these already that I did not show in the video is they came with this rubber stuff. I ended up cutting out the rubber. That way I can fit it around the headlight. But I did it enough so that it can still breathe and it doesn't get hot. It does have the cooling fan so all that can breathe just fine and no dirt, dust, water, anything will go inside the headlight like what happened with these old ones. So enough talking, I'll flip these things over, show you guys what I got. Voila. So you can see I got these off of eBay, pretty cheap, about 45 bucks. Um, I can put the link in the description if you guys are interested. But they have the halo LED that goes around the headlight which I love. I have to hook that up. To my running lights you can see the wires here I think this is going to make the truck look way way nicer these are the headlights that I got just cheap eBay ones about 20 bucks I'll put those in the description as well if you guys are interested one thing that I also did since I got the two LED lights um, they plug right into my harness so I don't need no I don't need nothing literally just plug and play on my old setup I had HIDs and you can see I had my ballast all my wiring harness to run the HIDs it was just a mess so I deleted all this wiring and now I only have these two headlights and this wire only. So you know, it cleaned up the bay a lot behind the grill and these boxes were covering some holes that were restricting airflow to my turbo, radiator and all that stuff. So hopefully, I don't know, it shouldn't make a drastic difference but it should make a little difference, you know, with more air. So if you guys take a look at where my oil cool is at now, you can see here's my line, it's a 90 degree. It's gonna sit like that with the hose going down so you see it matches the angle of the hose now whereas the 90 kinks the hose right here. So I wanna get rid of that kink. I don't want my hose to be kinked and restrict my oil flow. But I'm thinking I might have to take off the hose and cut it right here, to cut that kink out, but we'll see. So for those of you who do not know, when you're gonna cut some braided line or braided hose, you wanna get some black electrical tape or any sort of strong tape that's gonna keep all those weaves together I guess I could say so that way it all doesn't like burst out and go all over the place just put the piece of tape where you're gonna cut it I like to put it right in the middle of where I'm gonna cut so I have to cut basically the middle of the tape and that's where my cuts going to be I can't reuse this it's too long so I'm gonna have to cut it right there as you can see so I'll get rid of that kink which is what I want uh, I've already finished putting on that AN fitting. You can see the hose looks way better. No more kinks. It does seem like it's kinking just a little bit down here, but it's not even too bad, so it should be fine. Way better than what it was before. As you can see on this side, I already took out the headlight. This is the headlight frame. Um, they do look pretty dirty and rusted up, so I'm going to go ahead and sand these down and just spray paint them black. That way they look nice and clean, along with the face brackets to hold them in and it'll all just be black and clean instead of being all nasty and rusted up. I ended up using my Rust-Oleum Stop Rust Gloss Protective Enamel. Um, sanded it all down and you can see they're already sprayed and they look great. I'm gonna let them dry up for about 30 minutes and then mount them all up. But they look 10 times better. No more rust scratches, overspray, it's all black now. Okay, so I've been making a ton of progress. As you can see, I got one headlight on. Um, it looks amazing. I think I chose the right headlights. I think they look really good. I was a little upset on myself though because the ring that holds the headlight on, you can see I touched it a little bit when I was putting it on and I put my fingerprint on it. 
because the paint is not completely dry yet but you know it is what it is you're not going to see it that much anyways it looks way nicer that it's black rather than being that overspray blue and rusted up but now i need to wire up the halo light which is the ring and that goes to the side lights pretty simple positive to negative negative to negative no it's pretty simple you put the positive to positive and negative to negative and that's it it's pretty straightforward so I just put the wires together just so that I can test it real quick and check this out. Look at that. That's with the light on. That looks awesome. Exactly what I wanted. I'm, I love the way halo lights look. I think they look amazing. They definitely change the look of your vehicle. Now I just gotta solder these together and then the wiring is done. Then I can do the other side. Look at that beautiful wiring job done by 2GOZ, the man himself. This stuff works great. You can see the wires are nice and soldered together. It's got that heat shrink so water will not be able to get in there, corrode the wires and stuff. Looks great. Time to do the other side. Okay, so if I flick my switch on, everything should be on and working. You can see I got my halo working and the light. Same thing on this side. Perfection. These lights are actually very bright, so I should be able to see a lot more on the road. It looks like the headlights are like so bright and you can barely see the halo but in person you see the halos nice and clear look at that that looks amazing i started up the truck right now let it run for a bit and this a in line everything is good it's not leaking so i'm gonna go ahead and put the grill on put the side lights and then i'm gonna start cleaning it up so i can get it ready for the show tonight And just like that, this thing is officially done. It's got new headlights. I think it looks great. And the fitment on the grill and the side lights is spot on perfect. It used to have a fat gap in between. This side was always good. It was just that other side that was pretty bad. But overall, this thing looks awesome. I'm super happy and stoked on how it came out. Something that I do need to do is get some different terminals, get, get something that looks cleaner and safer because these two are right at the top next to the hood. Even though the hood is pretty far away, but you never know the battery bounces up because I don't have no straps and nothing on it. Let me know down below if you guys have any suggestions on what uh, terminals I should get. Let me know down below what you guys think about these new headlights. I think they look great. Um, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy watching me put this thing together, getting it ready. I'm going to get this thing nice washed and waxed, ready for tonight. And then I got to get myself ready. And I'll see you guys at Ace Cafe. Hope to see some of you guys out there. If I do, I'll probably put you guys in the next video. But uh, peace out and I'll see you guys soon.